Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning in today. Into the season number two. This is episode number 13. And as always, man, I hope that you guys are enjoying yourself as far as watching me react to the show. Hopefully you guys are a fan of the show. Big like, comment, subscribe. Also, check us out on some other if you guys are totally stuff. But if not, you guys know what's quick recap on what we saw in the last episode of this show, Big Bang Theory. And we already know how Howard is. Howard can be very creepy. He could be very weird. And last episode, he was just doing what Howard does. And he kind of got Penny a little upset because Howard just is very creepy sometimes. He could be very weird. And, you know, she kind of got tired of it. And she starts to go really, really off on Howard saying super crazy things to the point where he kind of just distanced himself from everybody. Um, she, she said some things that got him very upset, got him really, really into his feelings. And let's just say, guys, it was just not a very good look for Howard. He was very, very um, upset throughout the whole entire episode um, to the point where it's like he even missed work a few times. He missed a work a few times. And Leonard was like, yo, Penny, you got to talk to him, apologize to him. And you think it's true, it's true. Just lie, you know, like just just make him get out of this funk um, of not wanting to be with us, um, which eventually, you know, they did get that whole thing across and she apologized and Howard came back as into being normal again. Um, and that was pretty much our episode, you guys, which was it was a funny episode. Um but now I'm very curious to see what we're going to see next. It's always different each and every single time. So buckle up. Let's take a ride. This is the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> nice. Uh, you think a guy like that would have Sheldon, some you guys. Look at Sheldon. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> He's malfunctioning right now. All right, this is cruel. We better let him finish before his head Technical explodes. difficulties over here with Sheldon. All right, Sheldon. Why <laughs> He's is like, tapping? Tapping is distracted from the root of the plant Monohot Escalenta due to a high concentration of... Off status. Hey, Kripke. Heard about your weightest anti-proton decay experiment? 20,000 data ones and no statistically significant results. Very impressive. Why this guy reminds me of a, like, wannabe Adam Sandler? What a jerk. <laughs> Don't feel bad, Leonard. Negative results are still results. Ginormous knob. <laughs> That's why he eats by himself instead of sitting here at the cool table. Oh, this is the cool table. For shizzle. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, it's true, Kripke lacks the basic verse. Well, good luck getting time on it. The only people he lets use it are his friends. Well then, the solution is simple. He's gonna be I his friend. I shall befriend him. <laughs> Kripke! Yeah. Really? Oh, that seems that rather short-sighted, like, coming from someone who is generally considered altogether unlikable. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you take some tennis? Sheldon Cooper. This is not an application, Sheldon. <laughs> he sounded That's like he was filling out for a job. <laughs> uh, he's so. Oh, come on, really? First warning. <laughs> <laughs> Penny. 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 I'm doing a little research to better understand why my current friends like me. Oh, no. I'd be like, ask yes, your other well, three. that is a good question. <laughs> or your other two friends but besides Leonard. But is this really the best way to figure it out? Yeah, right. I agree. The social sciences are largely hokum. But, <laughs> short of putting an aspect of my most appealing trait, playfulness. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. I'll just go ahead and rank that number one. I'm afraid you're on your own for the rest. It should take you no more than three hours. Whoa. Dude, Wait, Sheldon, just take the, the paper now. Thing? Only 211. <sighs> just take the paper worry, now. In deference to you, I've kept them all at a high school graduate reading level. <laughs> in a pattern. It's A, B, B, A, C. <laughs> a, B, B, A, C. That's how it used to be in school. Oh, you picked up on that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> how could I not? But, uh, come on, there's over two. Wait till the Cylons take over? <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> Put some real work into that. Yes, well, it's better than what Wallowitz did. He drew what did a he raccoon do? with what appears to be a distended scrotum. Ooh. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Mean. Well, just be uh, nice. Just go out to him and say let's be friends. I did learn how to swim. On the floor. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Are transferable. I just have no interest in going in the water. Around here, I'm sure much of the research already exists. 
No, no. Oh my, my point is, what is if he you gonna want to do? learn how to make friends, then just go out to a coffee shop. Sheldon's going to be so museum, over the top with this, you guys. Them, take an interest in their lives. Yeah, just be I nice, friendly. On the face of it. Oh, my Jesus. Come on. If it had been a friend, I'm available to fill the void. <laughs> oh, my. Sheldon. Oh, my God. It's just as well. She smelled like mothballs. <laughs> And this okay. is why we can't make friends. Start sniffing people. I'm gonna go get a hot pretzel. Excuse me. Oh, I love trains. <laughs> so, such a bit, kid. I bet you do. Let's see. Let's see if he pulls Bernie anything Bunny that I know has about. Two daddies now. It's probably about homosexual rabbits. <laughs> Rebecca. Rebecca, I'm your new friend Sheldon. No, you're not. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we were really hitting it all. Uh, don't look up those cameras. <laughs> Water till I absolutely have to. <laughs> Tell me another interest of yours. Uh oh, he's stuck in an infinite loop. I can fix it. Uh oh, mm -hmm. let's see what he says. He's mm -hmm. gonna write something crazy. Isn't ventriloquism by definition a solo activity? <laughs> yeah. Wait, tell me another interest of yours. It's that we do that together. Tomorrow. Yes, I'll pay. <laughs> <laughs> All this just to be friends with this guy. Time to learn rock climbing. Hey, that should be fun, right? Rock climbing? This appears significantly more monolithic than it did on Got my this, laptop. Got this, It's not that, it's not that tall. One expects Got to see this. hominids learning to use bones as weapons. <laughs> Come on, they have birthday parties here. Little kids climb this. <laughs> He's like, get your ass over here. Get hominids, <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> a bit like vertical swimming. Watch, watch Sheldon get up there and get scared. Hey, or get you, stuck Cooper, somehow. You the top. I am? I, <laughs> <laughs> I do it. I do it. I was wrong. <laughs> it is a fear of heights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so rubbing this in it. Sheldon's fake. Well, he's not there, but you guys it's know what they were thing, doing. But you really do miss it. Hello, everyone. You have a special spot. What kind of wacko are you? <laughs> How much time you got? <laughs> you want some Chinese food? Terrific. Got any dental floss? In the. You do not have a PhD. Your cologne is an assault on the senses. <laughs> You're not available for video games during the Jewish high holidays. Guilty as charged, I'm out. No, <laughs> you two are safe. Ugh, truly disturbing. How could you for a moment think that my favorite amino acid is glutamine? <laughs> oh my God, really? That's gonna... <laughs> that's... He had lysine, but changed it. Yeah. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, Raj. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he did Raj so dirty. I eat, so my gum pockets are open for new food. <laughs> Suddenly I'm looking pretty good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Kripke, I was wondering if there's any chance you could get me... <laughs> he likes monkeys. From Raj, I'm looking at him like, really? Oh, man. All right, though, ladies and gentlemen, at the show for today. Season 9. Episode 13. Pretty solid. Um, I had a lot of moments of laughing, laughing here. Um... So the whole episode pretty much is just Sheldon trying to befriend, uh, I'm not too sure how to say this guy's name, just wants to befriend him and, you know, just so that he could potentially use this one, I want to say like computer that suppose this guy may potentially have access to and he may potentially let Sheldon use. So that was what the whole episode really was about. Um, so there's nothing really like too crazy as far as what I should talk about, like what we just saw. But I am going to tell you guys about the funny things that we've seen in this episode. And Sheldon stole the show in this episode. Um, honestly, I think he really did amazing. <clears throat> like he just goes over the top with everything. Like he really took the time in the day, right, to create. I can't even tell you guys how much pages this thing was, but a packet uh, right here that he gives Penny with like 300 questions, um, pretty much stating like what, how the relationship is between them, like as friends and stuff like that, you know, so he could kind of use 
what they say and kind of like work it around with the guy that he's been trying to befriend in this episode. Um, dude, he is overthinking like crazy, man. Like, no way. Like, if, if I'm Penny, I would have totally throw this back at, like, not thrown it because, you know, Sheldon obviously, obviously would be a friend. But I'd be like, dude, Sheldon, come on. Just do this thing the old-fashioned way. Just just ask the guy if you want to be friends. But that, guys, that's just not Sheldon's style. It just really isn't. I feel like Sheldon's style is is more of a let's make things complicated <laughs> because that's what he was doing in this episode. He made it a lot more complicated than it really needed to be. Um, but honestly, it, it is what made this episode really, really funny to me. Um, the, whole, the whole over the topness, the craziness of what he's doing for his friends, again, with the whole paper situation. Um, even here when he was at the library, uh, we get a glimpse of seeing how he kind of could interact with people, um, you know, kind of just, you know, like for, to me, this is kind of like a test, you know, he was trying to have a conversation with her. It just didn't go well. You know what I'm saying? So, um, we were just, we were just trying to get to see Sheldon a little bit in his atmosphere as far as trying to, I, I can't even say in his atmosphere, we were just trying to see Sheldon make friends pretty much throughout this whole episode. This was hilarious to me, too. He started to try to make friends with a, a little girl. Obviously, it just looks wrong on so many ways. Uh, I thought it was hilarious when when Leonard came. and He's like, what are you doing? Uh, Sheldon, we got to go now. And then he's like, as they're walking, he's like, oh, don't look up. There's a camera. Like, don't, don't get your face in there, dude. This, it was just so funny to me, man. Let me see, guys. Maybe sometime you and I. <laughs> okay. Friends with this. Becca, we were really hitting it all. Oh, Don't great here. <laughs> <laughs> you could just see the look on Leonard's face, how embarrassed he is of Sheldon. Um, so again, we continue on, um, and he continues to, she he he continues to just make things complicated. Like, look what he's doing here, right? He he created this board of scenarios and ways of uh, uh, impossibilities of you know, ways of how he could, you know, talk to this guy and ask him out as a friend, you know, not literally out, but he wants to just hang out with the guy. So he has all these scenarios, whether if he said yes to one thing, then he continues on down the list. You guys, we saw the episode, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, man, he takes it so over the top with everything. Ridiculous. Um, This was, uh, you know, the guys just guys are just trying to figure out what Sheldon's doing here honestly um everything he that that he was trying to do as far as that what he wrote down wasn't working uh Howard eventually got on the board and tried to rework some things to help him out um once we actually got to the event of where he's hanging out with this guy again I I, I don't know how to pronounce his name it's, uh yeah I don't even know I'm not even gonna pronounce it um, I thought this was hilarious. I figured I'm like, watch, watch Sheldon be the type where he's probably either nervous to either climb up there or he's going to be way too afraid to come back down. Nuts. He didn't even get all the way to the top. He didn't go back down. He got like midway and fainted. And the way that he fainted was so, so hilarious. I swear to you guys, I could not stop laughing. Um, cause it was just so random. It was so random. He's like, no, you know what? I got another solution. And he just faints and it just looked it's so funny to me. I swear. I was just this scene right here had me so done. Um and and even the last scene, even the last scene was so hilarious to me because it's like, oh, Sheldon went back. He's getting redemption. He's getting redemption. No, he fainted again. And it was funny this time around too, because um we didn't even really see him fall this time. He was just already fainted. <laughs> And the crew didn't even, like, the crew didn't even help him. They're just looking at him like, uh, <laughs> look at Howard's face. <laughs> oh, man, this episode was so funny, man. This is a fun, fun time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. You guys know I did. Uh, that's all the time that we have for today, man. Again, hopefully I get to see you guys in the next episode. And thanks so, so much for tuning in. Until then, enjoy your guys' day.